Welcome back YouTube, it is Jafer, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Fanatic Gear Streak 65. Now, two years ago, I reviewed the TKL version, the Mini Streak, and I absolutely loved it. It was my first entry into the compact keyboard world, and I was blown away by it. And now, fast forward two years later, and we have the Streak 65, which is our 65% footprint, and it's bringing a lot more than just a smaller size, so let's get into it. is the streak 65 it is going to run you 109.99 however if you do add it to your cart make sure you download something like honey uh, or anything where you can find a code because i did get this ten dollars off i did purchase this this was not supplied to me by fanatic gear or anything like that Looking at the keyboard itself though, it is a 65% and by that it's really the common 60% that we do see. However, you do have the addition of your arrow keys as well as four macro keys, which double as your insert, delete, page up and page down. Trust me when I say this, once you go to a 65%, there is nothing else that you'd want. I used to think that with the 60 and then when you're uh, editing video or working with OBS, the smallest things you're going to find yourself wanting to use the arrow keys in a faster pace and that's where the 65 percent really excels uh, the body itself is an aluminum plate and it is a really nice curvature around all four corners the bottom is going to have almost like this perforated or textured plastic and on it as well you're going to have two very large rubber feet at the bottom and then you're also going to have two flip out feet at the top and with that being said, this entire component right here is nothing but rubber. So whether you have these positioned out or if you clamp them in, you actually still have rubber here. So it is not going anywhere in its 420 gram weight, which myself, I think that that is kind of a light weight for a keyboard. I prefer something that is a little bit more on the heavy side because you're not moving it like your mouse. So I don't wanna risk anything at all impeding my ability to game if this were to shift around on your desk. You will make no mistake that this is definitely a Fanatic Streak 65 as you do have branding on both sides and as well at the top, the forehead. You also have the awesome space bar here that has some shine through of Fanatic's new 2020 logo. And then my favorite part, which is going to be the back here, you have a badge. So as I stated, I bought mine and it came with founders number 34. And essentially at one point they did offer you a way to customize and order your own badge. I'm sure with the success of the Streak 65, they'll do it again. Um, but out of the box, you're gonna get your standard Fanatic badge. And if you just leave it off, it kind of has a really cool uh, little effect to it right there. But yeah, uh, I, I definitely want to show off the Founders 34 to all the people that are not coming over to my house. You do have a detachable USB-C cable. Yes, a USB-C cable Logitech at the tail end of 2020. That should definitely be standard. If you don't want to use the standard rubberized cable that it does come with because it is nothing special, of course, you're more than welcome to invest in a premium coiled cable, or I've even used just to test it to see if it worked. I had an old Google Nest cable that was USB-C and that worked as well with this because there is nothing that's recessed on the cable and the keyboard itself. So there's nothing proprietary at all involved with it, which is nice. He kept our low profile as it's one of the big selling points on the Streak 65. Uh, however, that is going to be my biggest knock on this keyboard as it is standard painted ABS keycaps, stuff that comes on the cheapest of cheap. If you have a SteelSeries keyboard, uh, you might be familiar with this type of keycap as it is just not a good material to work with. I have no problem with ABS as long as it is a double shot ABS where it's going to be textured. But looking at this, you can see where it's painted with that matte finish and it picks up on all the oil and grease, whatever it may be, that's gonna be on your hands from normal use. It's gonna end up sticking on there. And then of course, 
in due time, you'll start to see where the actual shine through legends will start to expand because that paint is slowly wearing away. Hopefully Fnatic does come out with something like uh, double shot ABS keycaps or even better PVT keycaps. However, you have to understand there is not really that much of a market for low profile keycaps currently. So I understand if they don't go that route, but it would be nice as if they want to sell this as a premium gaming product, we want to have durability and these are not going to be durable as far as longevity. Now, as far as hitting them and using them and typing on it, there is no flex whatsoever. So they are sturdy in that regard. When it comes to any small minimal keyboard, folks are going to worry about being able to use everything such as a standard keyboard. And you don't have to worry with a 60%, a 40%, or even a 65% as you're going to utilize a function key more than anything. So you can see at the front of each keycap, there's gonna be some printing where it's gonna show the alternative function key. So for instance, we're gonna hold function and we're gonna go ahead and adjust the lighting because we do have some indicators here that show us the lighting. So we hit function, and it's gonna slowly reduce the RGB and bring it back up. That's gonna be the same for everything else, whether it's gonna be the volume, if you want to utilize delete, or even all of the function keys at the top. Now one really nice touch is the caps lock on most keyboards. They're simply just going to change the RGB setting on that particular key as an indicator if it's uh, initiated or not. With the Fnatic Streak 5, Essentially, when you do apply caps lock, it has its own dedicated LED light and that will actually shine through through this little hole here. So it's a nice little added feature and I believe that's a small touch that kind of makes this keyboard stand out among others. Now, one big highlight that I believe makes this keyboard stand out among its peers is gonna be these switches. They're Kale and Fnatic collab switches. They're basically the chalk version two that recently came out. Uh, they're 35% smaller than your standard switch. They are transparent on the top housing. That's really going to help that RGB uh, illuminate through the whole keyboard. It does have a cherry stem in a cylinder style here. So that way it's going to help kind of minimize some of that excessive dust that can build up inside of a switch. They're rated at 50 million uh, keystrokes. And the numbers themselves, we're looking at one millimeter of actuation on 45 grams of force with the 3.2 millimeter travel distance. I had so much fun using this keyboard. Unlike say the Huntsman Mini linear switches, I constantly was hitting uh, the wrong switches, the wrong keys, and really it just was not a good keyboard to type with when I wasn't gaming. When it came to these switches, I did not have that problem whatsoever. I was actually really excited to game with it and then just turn around and start trolling all my friends on Twitter. And so I'm looking at you, Nacho Customs. But yeah, it's it's a great, great switch. And I would love to see different variations of this on other boards as well. But let's go ahead and give you a sound test and keep note of the sound test as the stabilizers here are actually lubricated, which is amazing for something coming out of the factory in a uh, production board like this. So you will definitely notice the acoustics of it just being butter, butter smooth. All right, and the Fnatic OP software is going to be rather basic, although they do express that it is an early access. You do have four profiles that you can choose from, as it does have onboard memory within the keyboard itself. Going through your RGB options, you have wave, rain, pulse, fade. You can edit your colors. Uh, there's a gradient option as well. You can do reactive. 
so you do have your options. Nothing that's going to be blowing your mind, but it is your standard affair with other software that's out there for other peripherals. And then of course you do have your key binding options. You click on whatever key that you want to alter and you can remap, turn it into a macro, etc. cetera. It, it gets the job done, folks. Nothing too exciting. All right, folks, so I got some news for you. Fnatic knocked it out of the park with the Streak 65. Uh, behind me in my closet, I have a ton of stuff to build a keyboard, whether that be switches, keycaps, coiled cables. Uh, I have four different types of actual keyboards that I can customize and break down. But here and now, when I want a game and I want to log in to say Valorant, this is my keyboard of choice. Uh, it is just such a perfect keyboard and the only knock being the ABS keycaps. Again, if they did double shot ABS or PBT, this would be actual end game and I don't ever use that word at all or phrase. Uh, this keyboard itself with its low profile design, extremely ergonomic. The switches are fantastic for gaming or typing. They're fast, but they're not overly sensitive. You have customizable options like the badge, the USB-C cable, and hopefully maybe that space bar. All in all for $110, Fnatic knocked it out of the park and I cannot stress enough that I believe this needs to be on your holiday wish list. Uh, other than that though, I am Jafer. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the video, uh, what I need to improve on. I'm always up for constructive criticism. And regarding the item itself, the Streak 65, are you picking it up? If not, what keyboard do you swear by? Other than that, you guys have a good one and stay safe.